Hello everyone, this is Torch of Christ Ministries and I am Bia and we are going to build off of a few concepts that we have already mentioned from our reading in Hebrews 9 and 10 and also mentioned briefly Haggai which has some connections there and I want to go to Hebrews chapter 9 verse 14 which is a verse that I just really love um, and I'll read it and then talk about it. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? And I love this because I love the part where it says that the Lord purges our conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Um, the Lord frees us from this religious spirit, from this sense of guilt that us humans have from all of our flaws, from all of our mistakes and our past and regret and worldly sorrow. Um, Jesus makes us free from all of that, from having to earn a relationship with God through dead works. Our conscience is purged from that and we are free to serve God through a new and living way we are free to serve the living God and there is so much life in this there literally is life in this because we serve the living God in spirit and in truth and it's through a new and living way and this is in Hebrews 10 from um, I think from 14 we can read this will be a bit longer but um, for by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified, whereof the Holy Ghost also is a witness to us. For after that he had said before, This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts, and in their minds will I write them. And their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Now where remission of these is, there is no more offering for sin. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he hath consecrated for us through the veil that is to save his flesh, and having a high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. Um, I think, I mean, I don't even have to really add to that because it's so rich for us to meditate on um, the grandeur of his plan. Um, but we see there again that we can draw near to the Lord with a true heart in full assurance of faith and we have our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience. So when you come to the Lord believing fully that Jesus Christ died for us, you have been covered in his blood and you are going into the holy of holies through his flesh, um, that you can have full assurance of your faith in that. and. This is the new and living way that God always wanted to establish, but it wasn't possible right from the beginning. He had to, um, he had to make a way over time and, you know, events had to unfold until Christ was revealed in the world. And, and now we get to experience the beauty of the mysteries of the gospel through this very rich Bible that we have. Um, so I wanted to encourage you in this, um, to know uh, that you should not stand on dead works and to have a free conscience, not because you're not a bad person, but because of what the Lord has done for you. Um, and you can, you can reach the Lord with a true heart. You can worship him in spirit and in truth. And that's what he's after. That's what he values. So that is the most beautiful sacrifice you can give him, which is all of you, your soul and your heart.
Eu te predestinei, te tirei do pó Abri os teus olhos como um cego em Jericó Pois você clamou a mim Eu te levantei 